Hello and welcome to an impromptu bowling session from New Palace Lanes, Fitchburg, Mass. May 25th, 2019, before the King of the Palace starts. It's an impromptu and recorded because when I did the videos for the Putnam Street City Challenge, I pretty much maxed out my data limits. So I have to record it. Anyway, advantage, 1080p, 60 frames a second. So you can see me suck in much better clarity. And I'm using the big camera, which is, which is set up for the big tripod. So you got a nice aerial view so you can see the pins a little better and see how they won't fall. Let's get started. <laughs> And of course I sound wonderful because everything boomed late this year because it was cold. So that means the semi-annual allergy attacks is a little later, so I'm gonna sound wonderful. Eight. Seven. I'll take eight, but we need to do better because of the seven. I believe that was just barely behind the line. Minor lobster that live though. Looks like we're off to a garbage start. Four horsemen for six. I don't know if you can see it, but we got the special green head pin right there. If we can get a strike in the way things are going, uh, let's just pretend it's possible. TNC Bank and Trust will pay me 25 cents.
The pin we needed is the one standing, the bowling guard's middle finger for the nine. Time report. So far we're at a 38. High single 139, not done here, done at Putnam's. Low 44, not done here, done at Mason's. When I started to bowl the uh, sort of right way. My high here at the palace, it happened upstairs, 126. Extra pin on the bounce back. Will I hit seventy? It's a six. One lousy week off and everything goes to hell. So the new palace gods just want to show you how much they hated me. Niner. Shh, don't tell the palace gods. Nine's hell. They do it to me again. Still nine. In the rules of Candlebin bowling, we have to wait for the wood to settle down. So much for average ability, that's a seven. I 
I need a mark. didn't matter so it's an eight. Game one is of mediocrity up right there. The six heard it. And then the third ball, we didn't care because we needed a mark to hit the bottom end of average, which would be 80. 90 is average according to IBCA standards for casual league, casual league bowlers. We failed, 77. Game number two. We are left with a new palace right with an unfavorable piece of wood that we need to cap or squeak by and put the town inside. Days for now. Physics screwed the palace gods that were trying to screw me on that one. You know what time that means? It's time for El Stinko the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? Be shot, but hey, seven, not bad. Thank you. 
Middle finger again for nine. Time to go for the Emily. That's where I miss everything on ball one or foul and get everything ball two. Oh, you got his middle finger again for now. Half-time. Much better. Only one mark, but hey, 52 half. I usually can get at least one three-digit game here, even with the gods hating me. going for the V in which the pins should have flown into the other two. That one fell out of my hand for me. Thank you, Wood. Turning a yeah, seven into an okay. Game. Then that happened.
saved it and got an eight. There's the dreaded four horsemen again. Here we go, first good game of the day. Just in the ability of the average casual league bowler, 92. Number three. That is our first I wish it was ball two moment. Ten. events and bounce back.
men with authority. First of the right side half was star five. And I got the special green pin again. You know the drill. 25 cents if we can get a strike. Unfortunately, an accident with a left hook made things better. Bowling down middle finger for now. Here at the halftime report. So far, that's the bad thing right there. 43 at the half. Marks are rare today. Means once again, it's time for El Stinko, the bonus ball. Let's see what bonus we get this time. <laughs> a 
El Stinko stinks more for the leave than the fill of six. Take eight from that. We're getting half of them. Our lousy five. No stink frames yet. Welcome to Masons. Another crappy club. Those of you who say that I'm getting better at this, proof that I'm not. Still managed 85 out of that. Three fives. Wow. Game number four. to start with.
seven that I didn't deserve. It's our friend Bob Caleri. He's showing his left side. Four horsemen and the nine. Very hard to do, but let's see if we can show him the front door. I told him not to come back. One of the back pins fell. Maybe you could see it from your vantage point. Time once again for El Stinko the bonus ball. Let's see what it gives us. Strike streak might die here. Well, the gods hate me enough, it'll happen. But a nine fill, definitely not bad. Casey McCool is watching this video, I can hear him saying, one player, who cares, fair. Once again, time for El Stinko the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? If I can get three marks in a row, in candle pin bowling, that's a turkey. In any bowling, three spares in a row is a chicken. Very obscure term, but it's a real one. Let's see if we can get some birds besides the bowling gods. Well, the bowling gods did it. El Stinko stunk with a three. And I hit the camera. Still okay. No turkeys, no chickens for any of us today. Or at least for now. Barely a 10, but a deserved 10. No guarantees. Like I say, I can usually get three digits here at least once. And we got a 58 to start. El Stinko there. Let's see if we can at least keep it in the 90s. Well, 
look who showed up again. Somehow I don't think it's going to go as easily. From a Kaleri, not too bad. When you don't want a half Worcester, it's easy. When you have to get the half Worcester, very hard. Got one of them for the nine. There we go, first stink frame of the day with a full. No three digit game unless we mark. So, how high in the 90s are we getting? Or seven. I get better. You know my rule, at least half the game's 80 or higher, call it decent. Seven didn't help either. 95. 
Yeah, it looks like the strike streak and the hundreds will die here today. Of all places for the strike streak to die, an easy house, which happens quite frequently here. Go to Brian's Bulloway and Gardner, which is hard. It, it stays alive pretty easily. Anyway, in six, minus one. Start with the four horsemen on the left of six. Barely skinned myself an eight. Middle finger for nine. What could have been? Let me get a 10. Dave's here, I got some business to attend to. We're back, game five, frame number four. I had to take care of paying for the ability to have Watch Me Suck mentioned on King of the Bats.
least it's eight. Half time report. So far we're at a decent 41. Could be better. There's a stink frame for you, too. Pull that one out for nine. Need at least nine to save. <coughs> Come on. Need a nine to save this game. So eight, seven, six, five. Take a pick.
mediocre game with us. Mediocrity. That ruined it entirely. Seventy seven. Game six, if we fail miserably at this one, we're at our minimum acceptance. didn't die. It's probably the highlight of the day. You know what that means? We get two El Stinko the bonus balls. What will they add up to? I doubt we're getting a double. But I got one at Acton Bowl Drone because it's a grease pit. Putnam Street Lanes because it's Putnam's. And oddly enough, hard house like Brian's Bowl Away in Gardner. And since many of you haven't played that, but you have played Riverwalk Lanes, you get the idea. It's pretty similar. El Stinko won. Stinko too. Seven's not a bad fill before a strike, it's kinda meh. I stay good.
And it all falls apart in a second. Halftime report. It started out so well and then it fell. It's gone. Eight's the only good thing after the strike. Hey, 45. We can work on it. There she goes. was a gimme. It went exactly where it was supposed to. You know, palace gods hate me so much it took it away. At least it's nine.
What could have been? What could have been? 85. Looks like we're not hitting three digits today. Game number seven, at least the strike streak's still alive. Middle finger remains for the nine. Dumb luck. You know what I'll say? I'll take dumb luck. Your delayed spare gives us El Stinko the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? No $10,000. Way too thin. El Stinko stinks with the lead. A piece of work could help. A fill of six ain't too bad. You're right. 
Yeah. for an airport. Yeah. You'll get annoyed fast. Yeah. Not hard. Yeah, that's what everyone says. You wait. <laughs> Half time report. So far, nothing stinks there. 54, second highest uh, half. Not a promise of anything that could ultimately happen. Let's see what happens anyway. Get up, that's all that mattered. Ten would have been better, but eight's okay. Say goodbye to a hundred. Out of Woolworth and oh, the wood finally settled down. <laughs> Seems the only marks I got in this game were dumb luck.
Well, Stinko could make our at least one three-digit game per visit thing possibly happen. Like I said, it doesn't always happen, especially here. Stinko is weak with a four. I think I was behind the line, and if it wasn't, then like I said, minor locks. By the skin of my teeth, we made our three digits. Two really stupid dumb luck spares helped. Come on. Just squeaked it in. Number eight. Also made the minimum acceptable decent amount of games. Five out of ten if I fill the sheet. Go to hell. 
help, but it didn't. Six. There's another plane eight nose there. Seven. This one's garbage. There we go. Dumb luck strike to go with a dumb luck spare. Half time. The 10 and the strike, that's all we got. Rebuildable 39 with two El Stinko, the bonus balls. Can't call that one dumb luck. Legitimate spare. Once again, going for the Candleton Turkey. Three marks of any kind in a row. El Stinko, the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? El Stinko stinks with the leave, but the fill is six, not too bad. at 49 when I got the spare.
Again, no foul. Well, he got its middle finger for now. in this session and both ended with an eight. said, I didn't go the last time, I'm going to stick and stay on my ground once again this time. You were lucky the first time. It's not too bad. bonus balls to wrap it up. Think of the bonus balls to wrap it up. <laughs> and a 
happy for Phil. El Stinko, one and two, lived up to their names. So I got Brian's, we got two three-digit games back to back. Game number nine. With the best possible start you can have. Once again, two will stink of the bonus balls. What will they add up to? Decent fill in general, but six on a strike. Nope. Spread Eagles hurt. Once again, it's time for El Stinko, the bonus ball, the bonus B. Screwed. But nine ain't bad. That 
piece of wood at that angle afforded me that error. Not saying it's going to happen, but we're looking at a possible new high single. It's not there, and it's very unlikely, but we have at least a 61 at the half with El Stinkle, the bonus ball, to make it final. What a cruddy six. The six itself I have no problem with. But look at the leaf. That puts the half at a 67. If that were only ball two, it'll take time. about just barely staying on. This will be the last game. No way we can fit number 10 in. We got any. No new high single, but this will be a good one. In fact, we're a little too far away to even be high new pals.
too thin on the wrong side. Last frame, last game, already in three digits. Oh well, Niner. Remember, remember when I would hang up on 103 here? That would be it. That's the only thing I could get. Seems now 114's the hang up. Oh, actually, that was a 117, never mind. Anyway, uh, let me find the photo button here. Come on. Yeah, I'll put it up here. There's our finish. We start off with that, 77. 92, 85, 95, never to see mediocrity again with 77 again, which is the low, 85, 100, 104, 114. Came alive at the end, and there's only 15 minutes before the people that don't suck take over. That'll be it. Oh, and before we call it done, I want to remind you that during the summer, he calls it something different, but during the summer on my channel, you can see, come on, there we go, King of the Palace Summer Edition, he calls it off season. That's when we're recording, and then that Tuesday we should see the first episode, Wednesday if things go wrong. All right, that'll be it. That's the impromptu because I ran out of minutes on my phone. And that'll be it for the recording. Georgia551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.